An auto accident can very quickly change your life and the life of your family. Um, a catastrophic accident can take out the breadwinner, which of course causes changes immediately. Even when an accident isn't gonna be life changing for the rest of someone's life, it could also incapacitate them for a shorter period of time, but that could cause major ripples within the family system. I would say the mental state that most of our clients come to us after an auto accident is frustrated, wanting to know what the next step is, wanting to make sure that they do the right thing. So we see a whole variety of injuries with auto accidents. Starting with the, the least serious would be a muscle strain. That's very common. Another type of injury we see is where they've herniated a disc. If the physical therapy and shots and time and medicine don't heal someone after a car wreck, typically the last resort would be for the doctors to determine if there's something structurally they can surgically fix. We handle motorcycle accidents. We handle 18 wheel or truck accidents uh, and accidents involving commercial motor vehicles. A lot of times, the scene of the accident needs to be examined to document the evidence. An 18 wheeler truck might leave specific marks on a car from the wheel that would indicate who entered whose lane. With a motorcycle, the defense is always going to blame the motorcyclists, so we might want to take measurements of skid marks that would help us determine speed, reaction time, and, and those sort of things. With any commercial vehicle, we'd want to look into the driver because companies have a responsibility after an accident to do an investigation such as a drug test and check with the available state driving records to see if they should have ever put that driver out on the road. In an auto accident, an insurance company's goal is to minimize how much they pay out in claims. I can tell you that because I started out my career defending cases for insurance companies. It's all about the bottom line. Our goal is the opposite. We want to make sure our clients' needs are met, they get the medical care they need, and also that we maximize the available recovery that they're entitled under the law. The damages that are available in an auto accident include a few categories. Uh, the first would be mental anguish and pain and suffering. Another category of damages that would be available would be for incapacity. A claimant would also be entitled to lost wages, um, what they've lost in the past, and also what they would lose into the future as a result of an injury. And lastly, medical bills. And those medical bills would extend not only into the past, but what a doctor can predict with a reasonable probability someone who's been in an accident will need in the future as a result of that auto accident. If the other party doesn't have insurance, it doesn't mean you're not gonna have a recovery at all. First, you could take them to court, get a judgment, and in many states, submit that judgment to the Department of Public Safety where they get their driver's license, the DMV, and their license would be suspended until they pay that judgment. Also, and more practical for most people, is to find out if they carry what's called underinsured motorist or uninsured motorist. So if the driver that caused the accident doesn't have any insurance at all, if on your own policy you have uninsured motorist, that very well may provide you coverage for that person that was uninsured. Our firm has a tremendous amount of experience handling auto accident claims. I've been practicing over 25 years. I started out my career for a few years handling auto accidents, defending them for insurance companies. That gave me an opportunity to learn the insurance company tricks. Since that time, I've been handling auto accidents and I manage a team of lawyers who work with me on my team handling auto accidents. Our current and past clients would say that we care about them, that we've worked hard on their case, no stone unturned. But really, I would urge people to go look at our reviews and see what our clients say because they really speak for themselves. And on our website, we also have some testimonials if you want to watch a video and hear from someone in person. At Schechter, Schaefer & Harris, client communication is our number one metric. In fact, um, we have a policy that every client will be spoken to every month. Um, and at the beginning of a case, I'll tell you, we're probably speaking to you every day. We make sure that the attorneys and the case managers are calling the clients back. Um, the attorneys and case managers are also provided a list every single week of clients they haven't spoken to in the last three weeks. 
So it's crucial that we talk to the clients to make sure their medical care stays on track, to make sure that their case development is moving forward. And most importantly, the clients wanna hear from us. So we wanna be talking to them and keeping them informed what's going on with their case so they're comfortable with the process. Here at Schechter, Schaefer & Harris, we're a medium-sized firm. And that has advantages. Uh, if we were really, really large, you would have all sorts of red tape and all sorts of levels of people you probably had to deal with to get your case resolved. On the other hand, if we were a sole practitioner with one or two legal assistants, you'd probably have an office of people who are overwhelmed and can't get to everyone and service the clients properly. Um, I would call us a medium-sized firm. We're in the middle. Um, and the way we divide things up is we assign a lawyer and a case manager and a paralegal to each of the cases. So every single case is getting adequate attention. What makes us different than other firms is we're real trial lawyers that are really going to handle your case the way a lawyer who might end up in court on your case would. Now that's not to say every case is going to end up in court because the vast majority of cases, especially if they're prepared properly, do settle. But it is important to have lawyers with a track record and lawyers that actually try cases and lawyers that are known to the insurance companies and the defense as willing to go to trial on your case to get the top value. During your initial consultation for an auto accident with our firm, you can expect a number of things. First, we're gonna to talk to you about how the accident happened. But it might surprise you to find out, we're gonna also wanna find out about if you've ever had those same problems. If you have, it's not a problem. If you had the same injury and your problems got worse, it's called an aggravation of a pre-existing injury. But we're going to dig and probe a lot if you've had another claim or another accident. And we're going to actually, if we represent you, obtain those records so you know exactly what you've said in the past. And also so we can be upfront with the other side from day one that it's a case where you either had a new problem uh, or that you had a problem that already existed that got worse as a result of the auto accident.